To read CSV or comma separated values files into R, you can use the built in R function called read.csv. So you just call the function and then you put the file path to the CSV file you want to load inside of a quoted string. When you run this, it will load in the file and we'll look at what the data looks like. Now there are other ways of loading CSVs that can be quicker, so we'll just go over a couple of those. In the read R library that's a part of the tidyverse, you can access this read underscore CSV function. It essentially does the exact same thing as the built-in one, but it tends to be a bit faster. So we'll run that one, and it tells you a little bit more information about how the data was read in, but it produces the essentially the same result. And if you need to read in data very quickly, there is another reading function called fread, which is a part of the data.table package. This one is especially fast, so if you're loading in data with, say, hundreds of thousands or millions of rows, you might want to consider using this. And for this one, you just load in the data.table library and you use the fread function. And then the same thing, you pass in the file path. We'll run this, and again, it loads in the data pretty much in the same way. I will say there's one quirk, the built-in read.csv function loads strings in as factors by default. These other two functions, read underscore CSV and fread, they read, it, read in character data as characters instead of converting them to factors. You can see, for instance, the name category here is actually a character, but in the first one that we ran, it was a factor. So if you want to use the base read.csv function, but you don't want this conversion to factors, you have to include an additional argument here that is strings as factors equals false. And then that will suppress this behavior and allow them to be read in as characters just like those other two functions. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.